So now let's get on to another topic that uh, we talked about last time you were here, and you probably remember, but uh, we talked about debt, and I was talking about you know the bubble in the economy and the talk about in China, a lot of the, the big skyscrapers that are empty, um, and I said, you know, is there a bubble there? Is, is there a GDP artificially inflated? And your comment was, the biggest bubble we have is the debt bubble going on in the United States. You still yes, feel yes. that way? Is that still one of your bigger concerns overall? David, if it's not one of yours, it should be. Let me emphasize to you, yes, there are problems in China. China's going to have a lot of problems uh, coming up when people start go having problems. But the debt in the United States, I mean, just this week, <coughs> it was announced that we have staggering more debt. That's just at the U Washington, D.C. level. The rest of the country, too. Debt is going through the roof everywhere. So why do, you th why, do you, why do you think President Trump doesn't seem to be concerned about this? A lot of people are in his ear saying, hey, you can, you can spend your way out of a bad economy. You obviously don't necessarily believe that, correct? Well, if the solution to too much debt is more debt, then yeah, that's a wonderful solution. I've never known that in my life, and I've never known a country that got too deeply in debt to get out of debt and solve the problem with more debt, but maybe that's the way it's going to work. Maybe that, that's like saying Mr. Weinstein, whatever his name was, needed more girlfriends to solve his problems. <laughs> I love that. Great analogy.